Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Fierro. The Marble Falls High School football team begins District 25-4A play against Cedar Park, the defending state champion. Here's Mustangs head coach, Todd Dodge. When the, when the game starts, it's 0-0. You know, the other team doesn't get a 21-28, you know, point, um, you know, mark on the board before the, before the first snap. And I think sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, sometimes teams that, that go into playing these, these powerhouse teams, they, you know, they're defeated before they ever start just by, by attitude. You know, you can't go into it. You've got to go in and you've got to break the game down. Um, and I think that's important in, in every game is breaking it down into, into small increments. But against a team like Cedar Park, uh, you have to break it down into about anywhere from five to seven minute increments. You say, okay, let's focus in on this seven minutes. Uh, let's try to win these seven minutes of the game in all in all three phases. Let's try to get you know. Let's make sure that uh, and and don't try to pull the the miraculous upset. Uh, you know, at 7:30 at night, that that ultimately is going to happen at 10:30. You just keep plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. Try to play as well as you possibly can. Keep your kids hanging in there, uh, and then and start some you know some confidence and some belief. And um, on the flip side of it. You know the, you know I know the the teams like you know Cedar Park they are you know a team that's going to get everybody's best shot you know uh, from a standpoint because that's going to be you know that's going to be everybody's um, kind of their rallying cry when you play the defending state champions and stuff like that is well boy, we got a great chance to shock the world tonight and and that kind of deal, um, which you know we dealt with that when we were at South Lake and one thing that uh, it looks like that uh, that. Uh, you know, Coach uh, Willis and his group are doing is is getting their kids to buy into respecting their opponents. You know, and uh, all you can do as a football team is control what you can control, um, and uh, that's what we're trying to do is uh, uh, you know take the matchups for what they are. Um, you know, there's there's certain parts of our game that if we improve, uh, then the production will improve. You know, uh, when we talk about fundamentals, Nate Grimm. The quarterback for Cedar Park, you know, uh, I th believe he was the district most valuable player, all state player, all syntax. Seems like he gets just about every award out there. Is there anything about him that we don't know other than the fact that he is a tremendous runner? Well, uh, you know, I think that uh, this time last year they were really seeking what they were going to do at quarterback. And about this time last year he, he took over and, and from then on um, really took off as a quarterback. Um, you know, as far as, you know, I look at quarterbacks and, you know, from a th passing standpoint of, you know, what is uh, what is their completion percentage? He's completing a high percentage of his passes. Um, he is definitely a tremendous threat to run the football. Uh, not the fastest guy in the world, but uh, a big athlete. Um, you know, he, he's six foot five and, you know, probably weighs 195, 200 pounds. And, and really does a great job of understanding moving the chains, you know, and that's the best thing that Cedar Park does. You know, is they just they want they want to they want to grind on you. You know, they want to get their offense out on the field. And they want to stay on the field. And they want to you know punish you with the, that big offensive line and and a multitude of running backs. You know, they'll run they'll they've had I think nine different guys carry the football this year, um, and obviously he's the leading rusher uh, of that bunch. Do you feel like you're healthy going into this one, healthier than you we, were? We are healthier than we were uh, two weeks ago because we got Carson Bowen back, you know, um, and he fills, you know, so many voids, you know, on the defense side and the offensive side and punter and, you know, a lot of different things. So we got we, – we had a big loss of, of Ty Coffey and, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, we're going to have to contend with to make sure that uh, at that X position that we try to get as much production as Ty was giving. You know, Ty was – he had 19 catches in four games. So, I mean, there's, you know, for, you know, he was averaging about 65 yards a game receiving. So there's 65 yards of, of, of really important um, uh, offensive production and, and chain moving ability that he had. And the thing with Ty was doing is it wasn't always spectacular, uh, but I mean, of his 19 catches in the first four games, 11 of those 19s went for first downs, you know, and so, uh, we it'll be by committee, you know. It'll be a little bit of uh, James Breyer. It'll be a little bit of 
Kyle and Sconning that we're moving up from the JV. It'll be a little bit of Carson Bowen playing outside. So, you know, uh, it'll be a kind of a revolving door there and hopefully get the same type of production, you know, four or five catches, you know, guys that move the chains. And, and the big thing is it, that Ty was doing, when we threw him the ball, he caught it. Yeah, he was clutch. You know, he didn't have, you know, I mean, he, if he had any, I can't remember any four. I'm not sure he had a drop, you know, in uh, in in four games. And so that's, you know, that's part of the deal with with our offense is you're going to get people open. It's a matter of once you get them open, is make sure that we produce. Is when you put the ball on people, it's, it's Brennan's job to put the ball on them. It's their job to catch it and and get the yardage that's there to be had. And that's where. You know, I said we've got to make sure that we don't have a bunch of unforced errors. An unforced error, a drop football is an unforced error. A, a procedure penalty is an unforced error. You know, um, in in some cases, a hold is in a, an unforced error if you're if you're doing it with bad technique. You know, so we've just got we've got to play a clean game. Uh, and again, my my deal is going in as a coach is breaking it down into small increments. Um, and I, and I, I've got to have my football team buy into that. You know. Last year, and, and that's not something that's that's foreign to the way that that myself and my coach and staff coach uh, have done it through the years. You just get sometimes you get teams that really buy in that this is you know focus in on this part of the game.